You just need to remember that you're in the moment, living your dreams, and keep chasing those dreams. Like, don't give up. Konnichiwa. Good afternoon. There is snow falling in Tokyo. Yeah, you can see it like building up in the window. I'm hoping it builds up a bit. Yeah, so I'm getting my stuff ready. And I'm planning on spending just like all evening going places. Got the Gore-Tex waterproof jacket ready. We actually had snow last week here in Tokyo and it was absolutely incredible. Like so rare to get snow in Tokyo. So I was so glad that I actually got to experience that. I spent like the entire evening outside and I was absolutely soaked. So it's now nearly been a month actually, it's as crazy as it's nearly been a month that I've actually been here. I did get my hair cut about a week ago, if you can believe it or not. Um, you know, they had a little bit of trouble styling the, the curls, but like, I knew that would happen, whatever. So yeah, it's been awesome. I've just been out doing more networking, shooting, that's just all I've been doing here. So I am gonna go explore soon though, because I am in desperate need to see some Fuji-san. Let's see if I get to explore some Yamanashi. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'll try my best. <laughs> By the way, if you come to Japan, get Kyoto Lemonade. It's incredible. So I was actually watching someone for some reason cook hash browns last night and I thought to myself, can I find hash browns here? I know you can get them in convenience stores, konbini. Can I get some frozen ones that I can cook here? So I'm gonna go to the grocery store. You're gonna come with me. Let's go. Yeah, this area I live is quite um, residential, quiet. I actually really like it. Yeah, I think I have like a week and a half left uh, near yoga in this area. First things first, get these hash browns. Excuse me, hash potatoes are ready, please? Oh, yes. Something very interesting this weekend. We are heading to Yamanashi. I'm staying in Kawaguchiko and we're renting a car and I'm going to hopefully explore some Yamanashi, take some nice photos. Hopefully. We'll see what the weather's like. It's really windy today. Uh, I have a friend joining me, Azu's joining me. Let's get the trains and go. It's exciting. Let's do it. So I'm just driving Kawaguchiko. It's a lot colder here than in Tokyo. I'm just waiting on Azu arriving now. She got the train after me. So, and hopefully see some Fuji. It's a little bit cloudy, so I can't really see it. But. So we got up pretty early, tried to get a sunrise. We went to Shojiko. Lake Shoji. There was a lot of cloud around still. It's really hit or miss if you can see Fuji. We did get some patch of snow that we could take some photos in. Uh, there's a lot of really good shots there, I think. Like, it's really, really nice. Yeah. We're gonna see. We're gonna do our best. We'll see what happens. I just hope that Fuji's visible at some point today or tomorrow. You know, we can't shoot Fuji if it's cloudy. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
since this day, Kawaguchi Cove was just completely cloudy, we decided to visit this ice cave nearby. It was pretty cool. The tunnels were quite tight though. じゃあ、コメント。超きつい。きつい。<笑> driving around Kawaguchi Ko looking for any kind of break in the clouds but we then just decided to give up on this and accepted the fact that it was going to be cloudy the entire time. We visited Chureto Pagoda, I took some really nice portrait shots here also, just incredible even without Fuji Fu. The following day, we woke up to try for another Fuji sunrise. It was quite cloudy, but some of the light was so incredible. We still got some really nice portrait shots here. We then ended up driving to Fuji's fourth station, maybe like halfway up Mount Fuji. We tried to find some snow to take more portrait shots in, and we did catch small glimpses of Fuji through uh, some breaks in the cloud. The day has come where I have to move everything to a hotel for one night and then move into my new place for the next month. I know, good fun, right? <laughs> Niju kilogram. Niju kilogram. Niju kilogram. 60 kilograms I'm going to be carrying. One very important thing you should make sure you do if you are moving to Japan is probably view the apartment you're going to move into before you actually move in. I'm lucky that I'm only here for one month, but this place is so annoying. There's no closet for my clothes. All my clothes are still in the suitcase. I literally don't have anywhere to put them. It's, it's, it's pretty annoying. <laughs> I have this duffel bag just here and my suitcase is behind the door. Check places before you move into them, please, because I got really lucky with my last place, but this place is, let's just forget about all that. It's raining quite a lot today, but I'm going to go to Okachimachi, see if I can buy spikes for my shoes, because I might be doing some hiking in two days time. We are in Kachimachi, just beside Ueno. Not too far from where my annoying apartment is. My friend recommended a, a sporting, like outdoor goods store here. So I'll try and find some spikes and try and find some ume plum blossoms, hopefully. Get some moody rain shots before I get soaked. Something really important I've learned on my journey so far is no matter how annoying or how, you know, how annoying something gets, you've got to focus on the things that you enjoy the most and you've got to do those things that you enjoy the most. So that's why it is now nearly half past nine in the evening and I'm going with a friend to do some hiking. We are going to Utsuki and then we're driving somewhere in Yamanashi to hike. Hopefully we get a good view of Fuji for sunrise. We are literally going on the evening train and hiking throughout the night. This is someone, she has a lot of hiking experience here in Japan, so I think it'll be good. I trust her judgment. It'll be good, let's do it. But yeah, like I said, we're gonna do this hike tonight. There's gonna be ice and snow. It's gonna be awesome. And we'll hopefully get a Fuji view in the morning for sunrise. This is the stuff I love. And we're gonna go do it. It's exciting. I'm excited. Let's go. It goes ahead. <laughs> this second journey to Yamanashi for an overnight hike to see a Fuji sunrise was just incredible. This is the things I live for. Hiking through the snow in the middle of the night with the moonlight shining down. 
it's just a serene scene that I absolutely love. These are the things that make me feel alive. Like this, this is what I love doing in life. And I need to keep doing this. I need to keep doing more things like this because it's the things that make me the happiest. I'm so thankful for having friends to do these things with because it just makes the experience all a lot more enjoyable when you can share it with people. Sunrise hike at Shindotoge was absolutely incredible. The clouds moved at the exact right time so we could see beautiful sunrise light on Fuji and yeah, so good. Nature is half the reason why I'm here, honestly. You really gotta remember why you're here and what you love and pursue it. The sky tree, it's awesome. I think it's really important that when things seem like they're really annoying, stuff just isn't going well, you know, just like, you feel like your Japanese is like bad and you realize how limited it is and you really want to get better and that just makes you feel like bad. You've got to remember that you're doing your best and just keep pressing on. Kore kara moto benkyo shiteru. Keep practicing more. And yeah, you've got to just enjoy all the simple things. Like today when I was walking home from the gym, I saw there were some early cherry blossoms blooming. It just makes me remember how much I love being here and how much I realize I am lucky to be here. It's absolutely incredible. You just need to remember that you're in the moment, living your dreams and keep chasing those dreams. Like don't give up, no matter how bad it gets, keep pressing on, you have a bad day, whatever. Pick yourself up, keep going, you've got it. Tell yourself this, tatakai. Just remember that you're here in Tokyo, Japan, living. When I was 15 years old, this was my absolute dream. So, shout out to 15 year old me. I wanna try to get some shots of this bridge and maybe the sky tree. Let's go. As it stands here, middle of March, I had my first birthday here in Japan. It was awesome. Thank you to everyone who wished me happy birthday. Like it's just I'm so cool that um, I actually experienced that here. <laughs> so yeah, currently looking for a longer term rental. Hopefully we can get that organized soon. If anyone has any suggestions, of something they'd like to see here in Tokyo, feel free to let me know because I'm always looking for new ideas. Spring's rolling around here pretty fast. One of the most important things when you move country like this is to obviously meet people. I have met such amazing people since I moved here. It's a quote I put at the start of this video. Ichigo Ichie. Once in a lifetime meeting every time. Just meet new people. Meet new friends. You need them. Oh, just be by yourself all the time. Anyway, catch you next time. Not the name. So I was just in the middle of finishing editing this video and I can't end it like that. I I need to say that, yes, it's good to meet new friends. I've met amazing people here, but I miss my friends and family back home a lot, okay? Do not worry, I have not forgot about you guys. Honestly, this is like half the reason why I make these videos because I want to share with you what I'm doing, what my experiences are. I'm really thankful for everyone who messages me from back home because I do miss you guys. Just want to let you know I'm thinking about you. Yeah, there's all this stuff hanging up behind me. There's no closet here. I move out of here in a week. Let's see what happens. Let's see where we end up. Spring's rolling around, Sakura. Hopefully get some trips organized soon. Watch this space, we'll get something. Matane.